All right, we're gonna be set the timing on an FA20 motor. It's out of a Subaru BRZ. This one happens to be out of a 2013 um, Scion FRS. Um, as you can see, I've already pulled the motor. Um, about to pull the front cover. All the accessories are off. Alternator, AC, some of the fuel stuff. Harness is out of the way, ready for the front cover to come off. So we'll get the front cover off this thing. I'll get the timing torn apart and uh, show you guys how to set the timing on one of these. All right, so nine times out of 10, when you get to pull this crank pulley off, this mandrel right here is gonna get stuck. It's the oil pump drive. It's gotta come out. So a lot of times you can just kind of wiggle them out of there and there it is, pops out of there. It's fitted for the oil pump, sits in there a certain way. So um, the other thing, it's got an O-ring on it. This O-ring right here. Um, if you're taking this apart, you need to replace that O-ring. If you do not replace the O-ring, nine times out of 10, it's gonna leak um, and you're gonna have an issue down the road and have to take this all back apart. Um, so it's just easier just Throw the O-ring at it, be done with it. So once you got that off, um, you can pull all the bolts for the front cover and then uh, pry the front cover apart. Now, when you get all the bolts out and you're 100% sure all the bolts are out, you gotta pry on the front cover pretty good. It's glued on there um, and it doesn't just come off. You've gotta actually put a lot of force into it. So. Um, make sure all the bolts are out obviously you don't want to crack this cover but you definitely have to put some force on it to get it out of there it doesn't just fall off the car all right now we see we got all the bolts out um, there is 27 12 millimeter bolts and then five of the smaller 10 millimeter bolts um, and that is all the bolts that hold the front cover on once you get all those out uh, you can start the prying process all right, as you can see, um, I've got a screwdriver or mini pry bars, usually call them, wedged into this front cover. And you can see that you can push on it pretty good and um, it still doesn't want to come apart. So what you got to do is kind of work a little bit at a time. Um, and as you're working around, keep a screwdriver wedged in the one spot. That way it kind of can't come back on itself. Sorry for the camera moving around. It's kind of difficult to do this with one hand. So I'm just gonna kind of leave that in there. You also gotta be careful, this fuel line here, if you pull back on this screwdriver and try to pry right here, uh, it will break this fuel line. And this fuel line runs under the intake and it's just not real fun to replace so I'd be careful around that just try not to break that fuel line um, obviously all right now as you can see I'm starting to get the fippage to kind of come apart here and the front covers moving um, you'll also see that I got a pan down here because when you take this thing off it does tend to make a pretty good mess with oil so I try to uh, put something down there just so I don't make the floor mess. Um, and then, like I said, you just kind of pry gentle. Be mindful where you're prying. Let's not, you know, break any sensors or anything. We don't have to. Um, and then, like I said, I mean, once the once the fippage is off there, uh, you can pretty much just take this front cover, like right now. And pretty pretty easy. I'll just set this camera up real quick. So there's the front cover. It's obviously pretty huge. Um, all of this has to get cleaned off of here. Got a lot of sealant all the way around it. Bolt holes full of sealant got to get cleaned off. We'll get to that under uh, reassembly when we go back together. Um, I'll show you where to put all the pippage because if you put too much on there, what happens is you end up with pippage inside this oil passage and then uh, you end up with a blown up Subaru because um, it starves for oil. So, got to keep the pippage out of there, uh, especially when you're cleaning. You clean this stuff off, try to take a razor blade, um, clean it off with a razor blade. Um, if you hit it with a wire wheel, which you can do, it's not recommended, make sure you stuff 
rags down in here, in here, um, keep debris from getting inside the motor because it ends up in this oil pan, fairly small oil pan, and then the pump sucks it all up and um, after that, I, you guys probably know what happens, so. All right. So, before I take this apart, I usually roll it around and check it, make sure it's actually in time before I take it apart. Um, so what I do is I mark this balancer. Um, it gets marked straight up in the motor from this pin. So I just put a mark here where the pin is. Uh, just makes it easier when I roll this over and set the other bank. So with it like this, um, if you're looking at the motor the way I am, obviously the bank on your left is the bank that you can take apart like this. So it's not going to bend anything in this position. It's pretty hard to see, but there's little triangles on these cams. One there and one there and then over here on this bank you should have the same thing you've got a little triangle there and a little triangle there so what you're looking for all the triangles need to line up so these two triangles line up and then over here these two triangles line up and that's the first part of the timing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chain apart for this bank here and get it off and then you gotta roll the crank over so you can get this side set to where you can take it off. Um, and then obviously we'll set it all back up when we're going back together. It depends on what you're doing if you even have to go this far. Um, I'm doing valve springs on this one, so I got to take these chains off um, and get the cam girdles out of the way so I can get the valve springs out of there. So um, both chains are going to be coming off, and then obviously both chains will be going back on. So, all right. So now, last time you seen this, this line here was pointed straight up, and I've rolled it over clockwise. And what ends up happening is you get this arrow pointing down and this arrow kind of pointing out away from the motor. Um, you'll notice that these two notches, this one here and this one here, now kind of line up. Um, that's when you know you've got it in the right position to take this bank apart. So um, once it's in this position, this bank can come apart. It'll be the first one to go back together, and it goes back together, obviously, just like this. Um, this bank, you leave it just like that with the arrows pointing together, chains off of it, obviously. I rolled this over after I took the chains off, leaving that bank right where it was. Um, you'll also notice that when it's in this position, your timing marks in the cam phasers end up kind of being where you can see them. Here's the first one. And the second one is down here somewhere. Right there. So I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, but we'll get to that when we get to um, putting it back together. So. And then over here. We've got a mark there. And then on the downward exhaust cam, we have a mark here. So those are in the proper position. Once we get this bank timed, we'll roll it backwards and then time that bank. And then um, if you do this the way that I'll show you, which is out of a tech tip, um, when you're done, you'll be able to check all your marks. Everything's gonna line up. You'll have all your marks still lined up. It'll be nice and easy. Um, instead of the way the repair manual tells you to do it because if you do it that way none of the marks line up and it makes it a little more difficult to check yourself so um, I get this part get the springs in it and then uh, when we go back together here we'll uh
once we get the bottom gear kind of set. This isn't going to be the easiest thing to see. I'll get the other camera out and show you the actual marks once. Alright. So, there is a little half moon right there. It's got to line up with that gray link right there. As we come over here, we've got a mark on the cam gear there, and it lines up with that pink link there we've got a pink mark there and it lines up with a mark right there right there all right take the crank pulley we'll put it back on here it's pointed down um kind of points at this pin for this guide and we're gonna roll the motor backwards. So I'm gonna roll the motor backwards until we get the pin in the up position again. Up, these marks are gonna line back up and you can still see your timing marks, but we'll get to that. All right, on this side, you don't need a tool to rotate these cams around. You can pretty much do them by hand. There's nothing on them. On that side, you get the fuel pump, makes it a little tougher. So you're gonna do the same thing. Now line all these marks up, pull the chain up here, and check them real quick. Got a mark, got a mark, and we're good there. So then we can slide this guide in, pull the chain up. Then not too far, you won't be able to get it in. All right, so now what we're looking for is our half moon mark in here. It's very hard to see, but it is there. And then the other link, the other painted link, should line up with the front painted link, which it does. Like I said, I know that's hard to see, but if you have one in front of you, you'll obviously know what I'm talking about. And then over here, we've got a painted link on a line, just like you're supposed to. And this is your exhaust cam gear, and we've got painted link on a line like we're supposed to. You'll also notice that, just like when we started, these arrows here and here kind of line up. And then over here, same deal. We've got the painted mark on top lined up with the cam and on the exhaust side we've got the same thing the mark on the cam gear is lined up with the cam and you end up with the same thing you got this arrow pointing at this arrow now I'll take the paint off of this arrow points at that arrow so you got an arrow down there and an arrow there and they kind of point at each other so now this thing's in time so what I do from here I roll this thing over a few times um, and the painted marks will not line up when you get back to um, center but your arrows should line up again. All right, now you see I rolled it over a few times and I got our line moving up straight up at the top again. Over here I should have an arrow pointing at an arrow. And we go over here and we've got an arrow pointing at an arrow. So that's how you know it's in time. Um, at this point, we'll glue the front cover on, um, put the valve covers on, and uh, this thing will be ready to go back in the car on its way. All right, guys, that was uh, setting up timing on a Subaru, uh, FRS, whatever. Um, 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you liked the video or if it was helpful, um, obviously please hit that like button and subscribe. See if we can't do some more videos like this. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see.